Ravi is driving at a speed of 40 km per hour on a road. Vijay is 54 meters behind Ravi and driving in the same direction as Ravi. So this is Ravi. He is going at 40 km per hour. And then we have Vijay who is 54 meters behind him. And driving at, we don't know what speed, so some V, same road and up. Vijay is 54 meters driving in the same direction as Ravi, some V kilometers per hour. This distance is 54 meters. Right? Ashok is driving along the same road from the opposite direction at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour and is 225 meters away from Ravi. Ashok is here, traveling at 50 kilometers per hour. This distance is 225 meters. The speed at which Vijay should drive so that all three cross over each other. Very nice simple question. We do relative distance by relative speed. We will get the time Ashok needs to cross Ravi. Do relative distance by relative speed. Time Vijay will take to catch up with Ravi. Relative speed is 90 kilometers per hour. Distance is 225 meters. So time taken for these two to cross is 225 divided by 90 into 5 by 18 seconds. So we have to do this in seconds. 90 by 5 by 18 is 90 by 18 is 5. 25 to 25 by 9 seconds. 54 meters by relative speed equals 9 seconds or relative speed is 54 by 9 6 meters per second in kilometers per hour because that's what the answer is, wants us to give it in kilometers per hour so relative speed is 6 into 18 by 5 kilometers per hour which is 108 by 5 108 by 5 is 21.6 kilometers per hour so Vijay should have been traveling 21.6 kilometers per hour higher than was Ravi. So 40 kilometers per hour plus 21.6 kilometers per hour. 40 plus 21 is 61, 61.6. Very routine question. Relative distance by relative speed time taken. Relative distance by time taken is relative speed. Relative speed is 6 meters per second, which is 21.6 kilometers per hour. That that much speed Vijay should be traveling at higher than was Ravi. So 40 plus 21.6, 61.6 kilometers per hour. More of a routine question. Hush.